ain't gotta show your face on this shit. You already know. It's you already know. lit when you get this shit too. Damn, son, where'd you find that? Real talk media. Real talk media. Real talk motherfucking media. Real talk. Shout out to Real Talk Media in the building. Respectable blog spot, man. Y'all need to tap into it. Y'all ain't following Real Talk Media. Go uh follow the homie, man. That nigga uncut. He facts over feelings by nature. He don't give a fuck. Go call it how you see it. I ain't give a fuck about these industry niggas' feelings. Salute. What's going on, YouTube? This your boy Real Talk. You now tuned in to Real Talk Media. Got something different to talk about today, boy. So I'm going to let y'all know this blog probably going to have a whole bunch of rambling. It ain't got no whole direction in which way I want to go with it. But I got a few points that I want to make. So if y'all want to stay tuned, y'all more than welcome to. But if y'all want to skip, I wouldn't even be mad at that. I'm going to use myself as an example. So it don't seem like I'm necessarily picking on nobody, whether I call a name, whether I don't call a name. But I'm going to use myself as an example to demonstrate what I'm talking about. OK, so y'all already know I ain't got no problem calling out a nigga I got beef with, telling y'all what I agree with, what I disagree with. I'm real raw and uncut and I really don't give a fuck about none of that. However, I didn't start my channel to be beefing with no niggas. You know what I'm saying? And it seemed like recently it's been a lot of YouTube beef amongst bloggers, amongst niggas that they done interviewed, amongst people that's in the inner circles. It's been a bunch of bullshit going on. With that being said, um, y'all already know a couple of months ago I had my little... Uh, I don't want to call it beef because y'all know what beef is, but I done had my little YouTube instance with another individual where I felt like they was taking a lot of my content, even on down to how I say certain things and how I describe situations, going back on their channel, remixing it, adding some bullshit. Y'all already know what I'm getting at. And I addressed them in the video. Also, I felt like they were sneak dissing because y'all know I call myself real talk, real talk media, so forth. Man, y'all already get the point. And I felt like they was going on their channel saying I'm the only real street blogger. I'm only giving you that real talk. Any other... So anyway, I addressed them uh, personally, and since it seemed like they didn't want to respond the right way, I addressed them in the blog. When rap niggas got beef, they diss a nigga on a the song, they address them on a the song. So as a YouTuber, I addressed you in your comment section, and I addressed you in the video. Now, y'all watching this video, you don't have to like it, you don't have to dislike it. Really, I really don't care too much about it because I wasn't talking to y'all when I made the video. I was talking to the nigga I made the video about. But y'all, the audience, y'all got the right to give y'all opinion. We don't got to agree and or disagree. However, this individual, I felt like they kept sneak dissing. And so I looked them up and I got to post in they shit. So we gonna skip past all that. Um, As y'all notice, I ain't even been promoting the video too much. I ain't even really been sharing it that much as a until recently because that specific individual been on some straight bullshit i mean what else can i say now i will say i did make that video private but um i guess you could say they was hitting me up every day on the phone and even though we ain't told everybody else we didn't got sociable or whatever niggas hitting me up every day on the phone sending text messages we going back and forth from giving them tips on how to make their channel better you know because at the end of the day this youtube money this ain't my money so i don't care i help anybody who want to get into this youtube shit get the get the bread so anyway this nigga get into it with another YouTube nigga. And I guess that I had another video up where I sent a couple shots at him that this other YouTuber is sharing to other people, which he feel like is discrediting this character. And for real, you even got niggas out here extorting these blog niggas, making them send part of their YouTube check to them once a month or something, making them post what they want to post or talk what they want to talk about or making them interview certain people. And if they don't do it, it's going to be a problem. Let me get access to your account. You got to make me a moderator too. Let me get the wrench. And matter of fact, I remember even a while ago, I was talking about making people moderate and giving them wrenches and all that other stuff but one of the reasons i ain't even did it yet is to show everybody else i'm not these other channels man i run my shit and if you see somebody else on my channel whether i got them as a co-host or whether you see them as a moderator or whatever just know i run my shit you know what i mean ain't nobody extorting nothing over here i ain't never paid nobody to do no drop on my channel i ain't never paid nobody for no interview so i mean come on now these niggas is straight hoes out here like especially these blog niggas niggas tried to get at me for posting about the nine tray shit niggas tried to get at me or talking about the uh treyway shit niggas tried to get at me for the chris kids shit niggas tried to get at me for a whole bunch of stuff that i say i don't give a fuck i run my shit and I stand on what I say too. I be at the club. I be at these events. I walk up to people and I introduce myself. What's up? This real talk media. You know what I'm saying? And there's never none of that tension that these niggas be leaving in the comments. You ain't gotta show your face on this shit. You already know. It's you already know. Lit when you real, get this shit. real talk media. Real talk media. Yeah. Hey, I seen, I seen that post.
So, I mean, it let me know it is what it is. Now, I have had a few people hit me up on some cool shit. Like, I'm going to say a few of the non-trade niggas that hit me up. Some of them some straight clown ass niggas that can eat a dick. But I did have a couple official ass niggas that hit me up. Not on no tough guy shit. Just on some G shit like, bro, you should uh, correct this part right here. Or I think you're doing a little bit too much. Or uh, maybe you should chill a little bit. Not a respect for them niggas. Like I said, I don't even mention them niggas names. But salute to them niggas though. But it's a lot of clown ass niggas that's been hitting me up. Even some of these blog niggas homeboys and shit been hitting me up. And I tell them niggas to eat a dick too. But a couple of them been cool. But at the end of the day, I really don't like to talk to other niggas about my problems with a specific nigga. I address that nigga directly. And that's kind of what I'm doing now. And all you weirdo niggas stay out of my comments, nigga. Because you niggas don't talk like that in real life. Bitch ass nigga. And as y'all can see, I'm still running my mouth so y'all can tell ain't nothing happen. He ain't pull up, ain't nothing pop off, none of that. So with that being said, y'all know he was recording phone calls. Y'all know he was screenshotting text messages where he was running his mouth talking tough. And I bet you he was going to try to act like I ain't telling him where I was. So y'all already know me. Y'all got me fucked up. But then I got to thinking, nigga, is all this blogging really worth this beef? When niggas pulling up, niggas wanting to fight over YouTube shit. Man, that's some of the corniest shit ever. So after I uh, sat back and thought about it, you know, I waited a while for the nigga to pull up and shit. But then after the next day, I'm like, man, that shit was whack as fuck. I really was waiting on a nigga who I ain't never met in real life to pull up so I can beat him up over some YouTube shit. Nigga, that's whack as fuck, though, bro. Like, dead ass. He can still catch these hands, though, but that's still whack as fuck. But it won't be over YouTube. It'll be over disrespect. How you gonna come to my city, tell niggas you looking for me, talk about some pull up, and then not pull up? Nigga, you's a hoe. But with that being said, bro, this shit ain't even worth all that when you sit back and think about it. We here to get the news. YouTube, matter of fact, when you sit back and think about it, we could talk about the exact same story. Niggas don't give a fuck if they watching the exact same story because sometimes they don't come to hear about the story. They come to hear our point of view on it. They come to talk to us and give their point of view on it. So you could post the same story as long as you keep it in the hundred. Motherfuckers will still come watch it on your channel. But these niggas be talking about, oh, they stealing my subscribers. Oh, they doing this. Oh, they Bro, half of the niggas that subscribe to your channel will subscribe to my channel, will subscribe to Academics, will subscribe to Domus, will subscribe to Gully, will subscribe to... I mean, y'all get where I'm going with this. So how was the nigga stealing your subscribers? Did you buy them? I mean, if you bought something, the nigga can steal it. But I mean, what the fuck is you talking about? Niggas is unsubscribing from your channel because they tired of you making 50,000 diss videos on niggas, responding to niggas because niggas is calling you out. They don't come to your channel to keep seeing you beefing with niggas. Now, if you flaming niggas, if you roasting niggas, if you giving the news or something, that's one thing. But when you made your channel all about responding to other niggas, that ain't what they here for. And I also want to speak on this right here, too. You cannot play the victim. Play the gangster, then play the victim again. That's not how this works. Either you're going to be the victim or you're going to be the gangster. I mean, I understand sometimes the gangsters might get victimized, but y'all already get where I'm going with this. Um, it's certain individuals on here who may be doing this blogging thing and they may have gained a lot of their subscribers based off of something that may have happened to them in the past or based off of certain instances where I call them pity subscribers, you know? So y'all got y'all subscribers up, y'all doing good, but at the end of the day, y'all were preaching the positive message. And me... I mix positivity and negativity, and I know some of y'all going to be confused on what that means, so let me tell you. I feel like this. If you're going to be in the street, be all the way in the street. Ain't none of that snitching, ain't none of that part-time crooking, ain't none of that, oh, I'm all the way official unless this happened, then I'm going, ain't none of that shit. If you want the street, be all the way in the street. However, everybody not built for that. So if you a legal citizen, if you got yourself your job, you ain't out here hustling, you ain't got time for that extra shit, you not gangster, you not about that life, then I don't expect you to adhere to the street rules or the street code. I don't expect that code to apply to you. If you was to call the police because some shit happened, I might not like you calling the police, but I don't expect you to run to the street and do some street shit. You're not a street nigga if y'all get where I'm going with this. However, I like to watch a lot of the conscious brothers. I like to watch a lot of the people who spit that knowledge, who always on something positive and try to steer our people in the right direction. Even though I might not do that all the time myself, I still like to watch it because I gain a lot of knowledge from these individuals. And what gets me is I already talk about enough of that bullshit, that ratchet shit, that hood shit, that what they want to call it, that nigga shit. Fuck it. I already talk about enough of that. So I come to y'all channels to give me some positivity. And it seems like lately when I've been coming to a lot of y'all channels and I ain't even got to name names. It seems like instead of always preaching that positive message or that conscious message or that strong, y'all already get where I'm going. 
It seemed like y'all niggas is beefing. Y'all niggas beefing more than the rappers. Y'all niggas beefing more than the hip hop bloggers. This person uh, stole money from this person. This person gay. This person soft. This person. I mean, come on now, bro. What is the point of all that? And it seems like y'all got away from helping us and giving us a conscious message and a positive message and steering people in the right direction. And now all y'all do is say what's wrong. Y'all don't never say what's right. You know what I mean? I ain't going to say never, but you get where I'm going with this. It seems like y'all competing with each other to see who had the biggest platform, to see who had the most people following them. And I do understand that part of this YouTube stuff, a part of becoming famous, people say it's clout chasing. But obviously, what are you supposed to do? Aren't you supposed to have clout when you're doing this? Or what's the point? So, but at the end of the day, it's more than clout. It's more than all of that. And it seems like y'all straying away from y'all message the same way a lot of us rap hip hop bloggers is straying away from our message. Instead of us sticking to the news, instead of us doing what we do, we watching other channels and nitpicking on the shit that they do. And we going back and forth constantly. It's one thing when you got an issue and you got to roast the motherfucker, flame them real quick, or you got to respond to something. But people don't come to our channels to keep seeing us beefing with niggas. Straight like that. And I'm talking to all y'all conscious niggas and I'm talking to the hip hop blog niggas too. Hey, like I said, we going to have disagreements. We are YouTubers. We are entertainers in this field. So when we have an issue, we going to address it in this field. But we ain't got to walk around like we super celebrities with our head held high. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like we really running some shit because at the end of the day, YouTube will shut that channel down and then what? So, I mean, we all need to get it together for real, for real. And um, homeboy, stop sneak dissing because you already know what it is. And I would say your name, but it's obvious that's what you're trying to do. But I'm not even on none of that. Stop playing with me. You know what it is. We can make more money together than we can separate. And you know what? I'd rather stay separate without all the bullshit. So, what we gonna do about it? Drop a comment down below and let me know what y'all think about this. I'm on Twitter at Real Talk Blogs. I'm on Instagram at Real Talk Blogger. <laughs> Yo, this shit crazy. I'm out. All it takes is to beat them, now start snapping. Back to rapping, y'all been acting like it's about fashion. Rocking them skinny jeans and them purses. Niggas be dressing like faggots. Doing gay ass dances, but ain't saying shit when they rhyme. But if the beat's something they can do.